Good day, we will be presenting our QC Higher Education for 2050, our public partnership canvas by Bo'o, Estokia, and Valoria. The content of the collaboration Canva would be the vision and mission, our collaboration goals to partners, the value proposition and co-ownership, the structure and timeline, the risk, the resources, the progression of authorizers, the decade milestones, the preferred future 2050, and its impacts. The vision and mission would be that Quezon City would be the first awakened city of the world. The group envisions the higher education of Quezon City to be the forefront of futures thinking and its students to be active nation builders. The mission would be inclusive, innovative, and equitable higher education in Quezon City. Our collaboration goals would be futures thinking illiteracy, the lack of common vision for um, higher education in 2050 between these uh, Quezon City local government unit, between the universities and colleges, between the students' goals and interests, and the openness to change and to collaborate between these stakeholders. And the ever-changing political climate that comes from higher education and its institutions and its stakeholders. That these partners would be the Commission in Higher Education, the Quezon City Local Government Unit, the students itself, and the universities and colleges which are enclosed in Quezon City. The partners would of course be the highest governing institutions in higher education different colleges and university and its students as the main focus and the main goals and the main drivers of change for a progressive and a future-driven higher education with of course the help and the approval of the Kenton City Local Government Unit. The value proposition and co-ownership by university and colleges to provide competent graduates while commission higher education is to maximize education, higher education budget. The Quezon City Local Government Unit has a need for researchers and data-driven policies, while students have the need for job opportunities. The goal and aim for this collaboration is to provide the universities and colleges future thinking literate graduates who will be able to have an impact from this year to 2050. Commission Higher Education is the ability to enhance or nationalize researchers in education to find the one best way or the multiple best ways to create a better higher education. For the Quezon City Local Government Unit, as a political and administrative body, as the higher, highest governing LGU Local Government Unit in Quezon City itself, to be able to be fully informed about first, the progress happening in Quezon City. Second, the ever-changing facts, ever-changing outliers that is happening in the world. Third, how the students are quickly adapting, rapidly changing, and how they may be able to take use of this in nation building. And lastly, we have the students. The value that this may be added to students is that students will change over time and their capacities are limitless as long as there is support, as long as, long as there are budgets, as long as there's good guidance that comes within the institution. All students will be interested in education to not only help themselves be alleviated from poverty, or be alleviated from different issues, but to be able to create and focus on creative ideas to further ensure the nation building in this country. So the structure and timeline would first, um, in collaboration uh, with CHED or DOSD for the enhanced online learning infrastructures and the compensation for teachers. This is to further maximize an inclusive um, higher education, which is not only primarily for the students, but for the beneficiaries of the teachers as well. Second is by 2040, we would have more digitalized classrooms with the help of DOSD 
and with the head of Commission of Higher Education by having and appropriating more budget funds for ICD infrastructures and for education. By 2045, we aim to have collaborations with more partners and sponsors in hopes to have a more progressive and a more innovative higher education. And this is, of course, in collaboration with universities, with other, other universities and colleges, and with the students. And by 2050, with the main goal of inclusivity, innovation, um, and equitable education is to have completely free and accessible tertiary education, which means we may be able to bring our education borderless despite wherever we may come from, or if we are not exactly in the same location of Kazan City, we're still able to learn, we are still able to create different innovations. The risk identified for the QC Higher Education 2050 includes insufficient budget and funding, which can lead to delays and postponement of the activities. The lack of engagement from partners and stakeholders are also a threat to its effective implementation. The third risk is the lack of compliance from HEIs, which is crucial since they are the mobilizers of this collaboration project. And while we are still in a time of pandemic, the other risks that must be considered are the staffing shortages and the digital divide. In terms of resources, the support from the local government is a vital aspect in the actualization of the set goals. Likewise, guaranteed funds and adequate staff are needed. Most importantly, the collaborators must be consistently coordinated with to maximize their inputs, insights, and support. The authorizers for the QC Higher Education 2050, which will be playing significant roles, are the following. The Kazan City LGU, the UP National College of Public Administration and Governance, the UP College of Education, and other partner universities in Kazan City will collaborate to innovate sound education plans that will fit the demand of our current time. To ensure that policies are harmonized and placed accordingly, consultations and partnership with USD and CHED will be ensured as well. Moving forward to the decade milestones, here are the goals that must be achieved. For the year 2030, there must be proper course development, support systems and enhanced online learning infrastructures. For the year 2040, it is expected that we have established productive learning spaces such as libraries and computer laboratories and regular consultation with stakeholders are also expected. This also includes digitalized classrooms. For the year 2050, it is expected that there are more collaborations with various, various partners and stakeholders, advanced classroom technology, and lastly, is the effective and flexible teaching learning methods. Finally, for the preferred future of Kazan City's higher education in 2050, it must be an education that is free, accessible, and of good quality. And this year must be an education with an improved education performance and increased resources and education projects to ensure its sustainability. Looking at the bigger scale in the year 2050 in the education and QC, we will reach more than just the major areas of the city but rather each household of Quezon City will have access to quality education. In the household level indicator, a placement evaluation will take place in order to see whether the youth member or a student is in the right environment where he or she can enroll to a school that fits his or her preferred academic strand or degree program. Next, um, at the barangay level, elected barangay officials can initiate house-to-house -house surveys to determine whether the youth members of each household have access to education and have the necessary learning materials such as lap laptops, computers, tablets, internet connection. House-to-house -house surveys can be done annually 
and this way the data of each barangay will be up to date. Next, um, the schools and universities located in the city for the city level, um, we, we, they can work together to provide quality education to the learners of QC. So schools and universities can partner up with the LGU and other formal and informal authorizers such as the OST, CHED, DepEd. In this way, the plans and projects for QC's education sector can be fast-tracked. Next, the Metropolis level indicators. Institutional arrangements can be made with schools and universities from outside the city. With this arrangement, partnerships and projects are now intercities that can widen QC education development's reach. And lastly, the rural periphery indicators. For rural-based organizations and companies, they can enter as partners, offering programs and opportunities for learners within their community. So they're also for constructions of schools and libraries that can help the learners of remote rural areas to have more access to education. And that concludes our presentation on the topic of QC Higher Education 2050.